Now we all know that motorcycles are great, but they don't have a boot and they certainly don't have a glove box. Now when you're looking to buy a motorcycle, you don't judge it on its load carrying capacity. It's more like its stunning good looks and its ability to corner. But what happens when you need to carry something other than yourself? Oxford products, well it all began back in the 70s with a series of fiberglass fairings and top boxes. Now with sheer determination and hard work the range expanded throughout the 80s and 90s and found itself in countries throughout the world. The days of hideous motorcycle luggage are now long gone. Remember when it was deemed a worst case scenario that killed the look of a bike? Well Oxford have changed all that by not only producing beautifully designed high quality luggage which maintained its function as high capacity load carrying kit but also building in features to suit riders lifestyles and therefore be more practical. The concept has become Oxford Sports Lifetime Luggage, a series of tank bags, tail packs and throw over panniers guaranteed for life available in a range of different colours and styles to suit virtually every production motorcycle especially sports bikes. So what makes Oxford Sports lifetime luggage the best in the world? Well, for a start, there's the lifetime guarantee, which gives you the satisfaction that you're buying into the best motorcycle luggage in the world. All Oxford's luggage is made from waterproof, PVC-backed, heavy-duty polyester. Oh, and it's scotch-guarded for added stain protection. And all your belongings are kept nicely where they belong, by way of these high-quality self-feeling zippers, which won't let you down. As if that wasn't enough, Oxford provides storm covers with all their luggage. Now each piece of Oxford luggage has been designed with ease of use in mind as Glenn will now demonstrate and each item comes with the following padded shoulder straps so the bag doesn't dig into the shoulder if it's heavy. There's also generous size carry handles and super strong zips which have been designed to use wearing your motorcycle gloves. It's just all so easy you'll wonder how you ever manage without them. Then there's a wealth of helpful additions such as expandable sections for those unexpected purchases. You'll also find a section which converts into a handy rucksack and another smaller part which converts into a bum bag. Well, whichever piece of luggage you choose, everyone is safely secured with lightweight adjustable buckles and reflective panels so the bag can easily be seen at night. And of course all this will fit very easily onto your bike. And of course they look great too. On the outside you'll find the bags available in a series of colours to coordinate with your bike. Inside there's netting pockets, pen holders and removable stiffening boards so the luggage keeps its shape. There are two separate ranges of luggage available to choose from. Now the first is the sports range which is designed with maximum capacity and made to fit utility, sports and grand tourers. Next up is the humpback range. Now this is the latest in aerodynamics with its sleek shape and styling and that's designed to fit the latest pocket rockets and superbikes. Now these are the sports panniers designed for modern sports bikes with their upswept shape and angled exhaust. The carrying capacity can be expanded to a hefty 55 litres and comes complete with a zip-off bum bag. The base of the pannier is heat resistant in case they accidentally come into contact with the exhaust and the rubberized backing provides cushioning and keeps the bags in the correct position. Take a peek inside and you'll find masses of space as well as an internal office to keep all your pen and papers handy. I wonder if it receives faxes? Now, the humpback panniers, well they're like the sports panniers, but they're specifically designed for bikes which won't take larger panniers or simply don't look right with them. This CBR6 is a perfect example. 
Now check out this sexy sculpture pannier shape which has been designed to enhance the lines of sports bikes and helps maintain aerodynamics. And what's more, when this bag is expanded, it can carry around 45 litres. So how do panniers fit onto the bike? Well, the first thing you must do is read the fitting guidelines. Then remove the motorcycle seat. Fit the panniers over the rear of the bike, ensuring that the fitting straps overlap by a minimum of 15 centimetres. This ensures maximum grip before replacing the seat. Then attach the over the seat straps and the top of the panniers should now sit slightly inwards. If it's more suitable for your bike, then the overseat straps can actually be fastened under the seat instead. Two additional straps on either side require fitting to suitable points, such as a foot peg or a luggage hook. Making sure the straps are taut, the panniers will sit neatly and securely. D-rings are also included to allow additional fastening when needed. And the great thing about Oxford panniers there's room for a pillion. Now by far the most popular piece of luggage is the tank bag and virtually all fuel tanks are made from steel which allows the use of magnets to secure them. But don't worry if your fuel tank is made from plastic or alloy. Oxford provide a conversion kit. The baby of the range is the Sports Compact, which is suitable to fit almost any bike thanks to its compact size. It's expandable. Just like so, for up to around 14 metres of luggage. That's enough to keep you happy for a night or two. It comes complete with map holder in the top, and when you unzip the main compartment, it turns into a full-on rucksack for use when you're off the bike. You'll also find another map holder in the base of the pack. And inside you'll find a handy zipped netting pocket, a pen holder and removable stiffening boards to help retain the shape. So on to the big daddy of the range, it's the Sports Expander Tank Bag with every bell and whistle present and accounted for. It's expandable up to around 36 litres, so you just might not need anything else. Essentially, we're looking at three bags in one, a map holder, a small base compartment which you can use on its own or remove entirely and the main compartment which also doubles up as an expandable rucksack. You'll also find a rather clever front pocket which doubles up as a zip off bum bag. That's in case you want to remove your valuables leaving the bag attached. The hump bag has all the features of the compact tank bag and a few more besides. Now like the humpback panniers, it's been specially designed to enhance the sexy lines of sports bikes and help with aerodynamics. Oh, and when it's expanded, there's enough room for a full face helmet. Don't want it on the tank? No problem. Oxford supply a conversion kit to turn it into a tail pack. So how do you fit a tank bag? Easy. But before you even begin to think about fitting the luggage, Read the fitting guidelines. Having read the instructions, you'll want to clean your tank to prevent trapping dirt between tank and bag and hence scratching the paintwork. You then fold the magnetic flaps upwards and place the middle of the bag squarely on the tank. Then simply unfold the flaps, pulling gently downwards and position the magnets inside their little pockets until they make perfect contact with the tank. Once in position, you need to fit the headstock strap and hey presto, you're done. 
Just make sure that you can easily see the dials. Tailpack is the fastest growing luggage product over the last few years. This is the sports version, the original Tailpack, and it's large enough to carry a whole weekend's worth of clothing and it's small enough to fit most sports bikes. The main compartment expands upwards and the pockets at the side expand outwards to create a sizeable 40 litres of carrying capacity. Zip off the rear compartment and it folds into a beautifully padded rucksack for use when off the bike. You'll also find a big rear pocket for stowing things you need to get at quickly. You can best see the aerodynamics of the humpback range at work on the tailpack. Its shape is sculptured perfectly so air flows from the rider's back towards the back of the bike. It has many similar features to the humpback tank bag with the exception of course of a map and a different attachment system. And when expanded it can hold up to around 28 litres of luggage and that's enough room for a full face helmet. So how do you fit a tailpack? Well the first thing you must do is to read the fitting, fitting guidelines. So first you must remove the rear seat and attach Oxford's unique seatbelt system underneath with the bag facing the right way and fitted squarely. You'll need at least a 15cm contact patch on the velcro, otherwise the bag isn't suitable for your particular bike. Oh and don't forget the humpback has an additional under seat strap. Lock the seat back into place, the bag should now be unable to come off the bike. The next step is to attach the integral bungees provided at the base of the bag which should be tensioned properly to secure anchor points such as foot peg brackets or dedicated luggage hooks. To prevent damage to your paintwork, protector pads are also provided. So that's me then, all packed up and ready to go. Here's how to get the best out of your Oxford lifetime luggage. Do read the fitting guidelines. Do test to make sure that the luggage is completely secure. If fitted incorrectly, it could come off and cause serious injury or even death. Do protect your paintwork if necessary. Protection products such as our blanket or paint saver stick on sheets are freely available at any good bike or accessory shop. Do ensure that your luggage cannot come into contact with any hot or moving parts, such as panniers sagging into exhaust. Do remember that you have luggage attached and that the bike is heavier and possibly wider as a result. So brake earlier and don't try to get through the narrowest gaps if you're using panniers. Don't ride like a lunatic. Unlike these guys, they're professional riders in a controlled environment. Although tested to extremes, our luggage is designed to be used at UK road legal speeds. Don't overload your luggage. <laughs>